Hey guys, it's Doug. Today we're going to be talking about cryptocurrency mining and how you can get in on a piece of that sweet, sweet Bitcoin action. Specifically, we're going to be talking about the application called NiceHash. Now in the crypto mining community, NiceHash is a pretty polarizing application. Some people swear by it and think that it's a recipe for money and others wouldn't touch it with a 10 foot pole. Let's walk through some of the main considerations so that way you can decide whether or not you should consider using NiceHash. First of all, let's talk about what NiceHash is. For most of the people that have heard about NiceHash, they think that it's just a way to mine cryptocurrency, but it's actually more than just that. NiceHash is also a cryptocurrency exchange where you can buy and sell different tokens, and it's also a marketplace where you can go to buy and sell your mining power. As a quick disclaimer, I do use NiceHash on my computer. At the end of this video, I'll show you exactly how much I've made over the last couple of months. So how does this make money anyway? If you choose to set up NiceHash on your PC, you can pick from a specific algorithm to run, but the default algorithm is called DAG, or Dagger Hashimoto. The DAG algorithm is actually used to mine on the Ethereum blockchain and not the Bitcoin blockchain. So you might be asking yourself, well, why am I getting paid in Bitcoin if I'm not even mining on the Bitcoin blockchain? The way that you make money using NiceHash is that when someone else wants to mine on the Ethereum blockchain using the DAG algorithm, but doesn't have an army of PCs to mine with, they'll rent out the computational power from NiceHash. That might even include your PC's work. The user renting from NiceHash pays a rental fee, which compensates you, the miner. The renters pay their fees in Bitcoin, which is why you're paid in Bitcoin, even though your PC might be mining on some other blockchain. Currently, the Ethereum blockchain still uses the proof of work model but they are switching over to the proof of stake model, which might mean that this won't be around for long. But let's talk about some reasons why you should consider using NiceHash on your PC. The first reason is to put your computer to work. If you're like a large number of people, myself included, who have a PC with more available resources than they regularly need, you should ask yourself, what's my PC doing while I'm at work? What's it doing while I'm sleeping? If you answered either one of those questions with nothing, you might be surprised at the value that you're missing out on. With a mid-range graphics card that came out anytime after about 2015, chances are pretty good that you could install NiceHash on your computer and have your own little crypto mining operation going as long as you're not playing video games. NiceHash provides a profitability calculator that we can use to help determine what kind of profits you might make given the type of GPU that you have. The second reason you should consider using NiceHash is because the setup is so easy compared to other types of mining rigs where you need to install specialized software or operating systems and combine a bunch of GPUs together. You don't need to do any of that for NiceHash. You simply download the application, install it, and double click the icon on your desktop. That's it. You're mining. The third reason to consider NiceHash is that you're paid in Bitcoin. So this could be a good thing if you think that Bitcoin is going up in the future because you can be collecting Bitcoin now knowing that the price is going to go up and it will be worth more later than it is now. However, there's also the risk that if the price of Bitcoin goes down, your Bitcoins will be worth less than they are now. The fourth reason you might consider using NiceHash is actually the electricity cost. Are you concerned that you'll actually spend more in electricity than you'll make mining? That's a common misconception. Because the price of Bitcoin has gone up so high in the recent years, that's no longer a worry. Back when Bitcoin was worth like a dollar, that's true, it might not have been worth putting in all the work on your GPU in order to get a small amount of Bitcoin. But now that Bitcoin is around $50,000 a coin, it makes a lot more sense to mine and the difference between the electricity used and the profit you earn is much bigger. When you're using the NiceHash profitability calculator, make sure that you go back and look at your previous electric bill, see what your kilowatt per hour cost is, because that's gonna make a big difference when you try to figure out how much profit you'll make on top of the electricity cost of mining. Now let's talk about some of the main reasons you might not want to use NiceHash. The first reason is related to climate. There is an argument to be made that mining cryptocurrencies are bad for the environment. This is only a half truth in my opinion. Although a mix of clean and coal burning energy is used to mine crypto and power the blockchains, consider the amount of energy required to hold up the infrastructure needed to support a fiat currency such as the US dollar. Bitcoin mining operations are estimated to use about 127 terawatt hours of electricity per year as compared to the gold mining industry 
at about 140 terawatt hours per year. Although I don't have a concrete source to cite for this example, think of all the electricity that's used in order to support the US dollar. If you think about all the individuals that go into banks, monetary systems, government, all of the costs of their vehicles and their housing, all of those costs are built into the cost of the US dollar. So how much electricity do you think is really being used for the currency we already have? In an article on earthworks.org that I found, they claim that there are over 20 tons of potential waste materials created for a single wedding band. The second reason you might not choose NiceHash is because of the overall lack of renewable energy being used in the crypto mining industry. A recent study from Cambridge University shows that 39% of Bitcoin mining operations use renewable energy. However, up to 79% of companies mining Bitcoin report that they use some sort of renewable energy, but that still means a mix between renewables and coal. In my opinion, there's a huge amount of room for improvement when it comes to renewable energy in the crypto mining space. According to Mr. Wonderful himself, Kevin O'Leary, who you might know from Shark Tank, institutional investment companies may begin to tighten the screws when it comes to where individual Bitcoins have been sourced from, specifically coins that they refer to as Chinese blood coins or coins that are minted for regions that are known with having limited respect for the environment and human health. Because cryptocurrencies are starting to get invested in by large institutional investors, for this reason, some institutional investing firms will only be purchasing Bitcoin that you can prove or mined in a sustainable way. The next reason that some are concerned about NiceHash is because of the reputation of their co-founder. Previously, the co-founder of NiceHash created malware. He was charged, sent to jail, and has since been released. After serving his time, as far as we know, the co-founder is on the up and up. Keep in mind that NiceHash currently employs over 40 full-time employees, and it's pretty unlikely that all of them would be knowingly working in some sort of malware scheme. So who is NiceHash for? If you're new to mining crypto, have a small number of devices, or you're not super tech savvy, NiceHash might be perfect for you. It's a simple way for you to use your existing hardware to generate some passive income. The money you get from mining with NiceHash is as close to free money as I think you can get. On the other hand, do not use NiceHash if you're planning on setting up multiple GPUs for mining, or if you want to pick exactly which pools your resources become part of. It is technically possible to get better returns by configuring your own mining software and joining into a pool, but that's a lot more complex than simply running NiceHash. If you're a crypto newbie, then it's probably not worth that extra five bucks a month. Now the part that you've all been waiting for is how much do I actually make mining with NiceHash on my computer? I have a modest yet modern computer build that has an RTX 3060 Ti for a GPU. I keep NiceHash running almost 24 seven, sometimes even while I'm working, the only exception being if I'm playing video game, which isn't as often as I'd like to these days. Looking at the NiceHash profitability calculator, it says that I could be making $6.24 per day and that's actually very accurate. If you take a look at this week, I've been mining almost 24 seven with the exception of a couple hours. During the course of the week, my daily payout was $6.29. That may not seem like a lot, but that's lunch every single day. So let's do some quick math. If I make $6.29 per day, that's $44.03 per week, or $188.70 per month, or yearly, that comes out to $2,264.40. So by simply running NiceHash on my computer and running it almost 24 seven in the background, I'm able to create over $2,000 per year without putting in any effort. If you found this video or cryptocurrency in general to be interesting, let me know and I'll be sure to make some more videos related to cryptocurrency. That's it for now. Happy coding and I'll see you in the next one.